Good morning. Today I have a wedding on the boat and the heat index is supposed to be about 110 degrees. So I'm thinking this is the perfect time to decide which one is really better on the boat all day in the heat. Is it a Tervis or is it a Hydro Flask? And I have a E-Tech City thermometer in the Tervis right now, 37.2. In the Hydro Flask right now, 37.7. I pretty much use the same amount of ice and water in both. This one, the Tervis has got ice from our freezer, which I think is frozen a little bit harder. The Hydro Flask has got ice from the ice maker behind me, the thing that's making all that noise behind me. I feel like that ice gives out a little bit faster, so even if they melt at the same time, that'll still mean that this one's a little bit better. I suspect the Hydro Flask is better, but I'm gonna find out today. One thing that I like about the Tervis is, when I'm on the boat, it's really easy to take a drink of water because you simply flip the lid open and you can drink. The thing I don't like about the Hydro Flask is that you have to unscrew the whole top just to have a drink, so it takes a little bit longer. The other thing is the Hydro Flask is metal, so I feel like it could scratch the boat and it also makes noise when it hits things on the boat and flops around as things sometimes do on sailboats, while the Tervis is plastic and seems not as noisy. You know, on the other hand, I'm not crazy about plastic, but this also has a carrying handle and this has a handle. So here we go. We're going to find out how they do. I think the temperatures are going to be over 90 here today in Florida. But like I said, the heat index is going to be 110. I've got the, I don't know what you call this thing. It's a infrared thermometer, infrared thermometer. I'm going to be checking like the temperature on the deck, the temperature in the shade, and keep both of these in the same place and see how they do. I did fill both of them with refrigerator water so they've got equal chance of surviving the day. And I'll drink equally out of them as the day goes on so that I can have a pretty scientific result. All right, we're halfway through the day. It's a pretty hot day. We're out here on the water. Here's the really awesome thing. The turbis, the water is lukewarm and there's no ice. However, in the hydro flask, I still have ice. This is two o'clock. The end result was that even though the Tervis had gone lukewarm by midday, the Hydro Flask kept my water cold all the way to the very end of the day and even on the way home. The only thing is the Hydro Flask is a little bit harder to get into while the Tervis is easier to open. Also, I noticed that the Hydro Flask does leave a little bit of marks on the boat and that's no good, so it's still a draw. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe and I'll leave links to everything I mentioned below. Thanks. Bye.